Hello again guys and welcome to another special storytelling musings. I'm Omar Ramirez. Ramirez. In today's microcast, I want to talk to you guys about um constructivism and eclecticism in visual arts techniques. What do I mean? Okay, here I go. There are, <clears throat> well, there is this this philosophy that I've embraced, and uh, not in the, um, I would say, the most uh, literal of the the embracings or the literal meaning of the the word that defines this philosophy, which is which is eclecticism. And eclecticism, to me, and I'm going to define <coughs> what I mean when I say eclectic, is taking taking knowledge and techniques and whatever from various um, different disciplines and philosophies and what have you, and combining these disciplines to create in the the overlap in the Ville, Ville graph create new knowledge not only have knowledge that you are given from these two or three or any number of disciplines but to create something new from that <clears throat> what do I mean? I, let me give you a, uh, a more practical example I, I'm more of a 3D artist than anything else I think I mentioned that but you might not know and I really love 2D. And for example, I see many anime and many movies and many even comics that use 3D art for backgrounds and 2D characters um, put over the 3D art. Or maybe even I've seen um, cases in which they use. 3D bo bodies, 3D elements, like a motorcycle, for example, with a 3D body of a girl or a guy, uh, and then they draw detail uh, atop this this 3D models, or they just draw the head with the expression and the hair. There's even this. What's the name of this thing? It is a paint over where you take a 3D model, uh, a 3D render rather, and you paint over it where you use the 3D model as a basis, as a base for an illustration which you uh, don't have to say calculate the the, 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 the mm. You don't have to calculate the the perspective for it, for example, which is a way that I want to use 3D in my 2D life. Uh, you can even use 3D in this way to not have to think that much about poses in 3D in 2D because you can pose the the model in 3D, then paint over whatever you want with that model. And <coughs> well. What I want you guys to take from this real, little ramble is that, well, let, let me come from this. Um, some time ago, I made a comment on on a post by Jer Strost from uh, leanintoart.com and comicsaregreat.com in which he posted an image of how he was using um, Google's SketchUp, Google SketchUp to to make a background for a, a certain building in one of his stories, and he ironically, not not ironic, but rather uh, he said in an ironic manner that he was cheating, and I think most people, or at least I would like to think that most people understood that he was that he was being ironic with that comment because he doesn't consider that cheating, well, how do I know? 
because after I made a comment on his post, he made a little uh, a, a he, he calls them audio essays in a podcast series he he sometimes does, which is called um, Thunder Punch Daily, which is awesome. I will link on the description. Um, he talks about how how he's not cheating when he's doing that, but some people do consider that cheating because if you're not doing the thing in the way that you were taught it was to be done, uh, you're cheating. If you don't uh, make your three point perspective to make this building, then you're cheating. And I mean, I've had that kind of thought, which is ridiculous because I'm a 3D artist and I could very well just take my 3D models and paint over them. Why not? I mean, I've earned that right, haven't I? Because I've learned 3D, I've learned to make uh, backgrounds in 3D, characters in 3D, I've learned illumination, I've learned. Um, modeling I learned, texturing I learned. I've learned how I'm, however many things you want for me to have learned in the process of learning to be a 3D artist. And I just want you guys to consider because I'm not going anywhere uh, concise with this, I think, is to consider what you've learned from other. Uh, areas of knowledge, another way to look at things, at the same things, at the same problems. Because when you are looking at the problem of how to make a background, or, how, or the problem of how to make a dynamic pose for a character, you can look at it by, with many different lenses. You can look at it as a 3D artist, you can look at it as a 2D artist, you can look at it as a photographer. And all of these different ways to look at things will will enrich the outcome. Because if you, the more you know, the more depth the the process you can you can get. I mean, it will be deeper. You can get to understand the thing way better if you look at it in many different lenses, in many different perspectives. So I just want to. To make this uh, little episode a reminder that you not only should use the knowledge that you've gotten from wherever, you should seek out new knowledge. I myself, I'm, well, I'm trying to learn how to actually write. I want to, to write fiction in a literary manner, just text, to become a better writer when it comes to, to comics, for example. And... I've tried to learn 2D, despite the fact that I'm already a 3D artist, and I can just easily go to the thing that I already know how to do, and not worry about learning actually how to how to draw, how to paint. Uh, but I think that if I apply the knowledge I already have, and the knowledge that I get, and any new knowledge that I come across, the results are always going to be better, and that's just going to be way better as a product so yeah I think that's it time I'm just gonna end this here so yeah thank you um, if you guys like this episode please share it on your social networks you can find me at Google Plus by the name Mar Ramirez you can also find me in Facebook uh, just in the search tab um, type Omar Ramirez graphic artist you can find me on Tumblr as workingonstuff.tumblr.com and on Twitter as at Omar uh, lower dash Ramirez. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, I'm also on SoundCloud uh, under the name Omar Ramirez too. Um, I'm working on on ways to make this podcast to to have a way for you to subscribe to it. Uh, directly by via RSS or maybe even a mailing list. I don't know. I'll see about that. But if you enjoy, please share, uh, please like. I'll really appreciate it. And until then, until the next time, see you guys.